Ow, that hurt, that did. Ladies and gents, welcome to sunny Suffolk. This is Yamaha's MT-09 SP. It is, of course, a slightly tricker version of the MT-09, which is a bike whose importance we should never underestimate. Because it was launched back in 2013 when Yamaha probably weren't selling as many bikes as they wanted to. Since then, they've sold 63,000 of these. They've used the engine out of it to power the XSR 900, the Tracer 900. They've even used one in that big, funny-looking three-wheel thing, the Nikon. Not only that, this, the MT-09 was the first real hypernaked in Yamaha's MT range. Of course, now we've got the MT-03, MT-125, MT-07, MT just about everything. Of which they've sold a quarter of a million. That's nearly 250,000. So it's a mega important bike for Yamaha. We're mega excited to ride it. So without any further ado, let's check it out. This is what you get in this country in this month. There's snow all over these roofs and that car look. It's a fresh, fresh day, but I don't mind, because I'm on one of these. First impressions are good. I can already tell that it's, um, that it's a, a big step up from the last one. It feels good, like it's got more poke. It has got more poke. It feels like it's more nimble and agile. Well, the, the chassis is lighter and stiffer. Um, it just feels a bit more sporty. You can tell it's lighter because it just dances around the road effortlessly. I mean, the other one was, the other one was sort of pretty agile, pretty nimble, but this has just got that edge on it. And then when you open the, uh, when you open the throttle, it just takes off. And they're telling us they've uh, they've done quite a lot of work on the exhaust and uh, and the airbox to give it that that nice rasp. But it it does sound good. It sounds better than the old one. I mean, the old one sounded good. But this, uh, yeah, this sounds cracking. In the grand scheme of things, this is a fairly budget bike. It's £10,202, which I know isn't cheap, but, you know, when you compare it to other bikes out there for, for similar money, you do get a lot of tech. You know, it's got cruise control. It's got the, the nice TFT dash. It's not that big, um, but, you know, it's nice and clear. You've got all the electronics. Um, be nice if it had heated grips on a day like this but you know other than that that you do have you do have a, <coughs> a lot of tech and it doesn't it doesn't feel like a, a budget bike you know it feels like a nice well-made you know bike and, a, and, and it is a well-made bike the last one felt a little bit more super motoy this one feels like a bit more you know a, a, a proper motorbike it feels a bit bigger it feels a bit more manly um, but at the same time it feels quite sporty now they're, they're, they're telling us that the frame is 50 percent rigid more rigid i should say it's lighter but more rigid now i can't really tell if i'm being honest about uh, on the rigidity it does feel lighter it feels more sort of agile and nimble on its feet but it you know you probably need to be really kicking the ass out of it on track to to really feel that extra rigidity it didn't feel like a floppy bike to start with especially not with the olin's shock good parking mate and, and I genuinely could do like proper miles on this it doesn't feel like a bike that um, do you know it doesn't feel like a budget bike it feels like a proper nice bike and sounds awesome too the uh, the KYB Olin suspension combo does a, a pretty a pretty splendid job of soaking everything up that that you need it to it's not it's not a really soft setup it's supportive without being too sort of bouncy and juddery and it's supportive enough that when you want to start throwing it around corners you know you don't have to anchor on and get all your speed off you can just you can just lob it in 
and that's with that's with the app the, you know the bog stock settings in the uh, KYB Fox and the all-in suspension all-in shock sorry it's a lovely day I just got paid da, 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 da. I was on the launch for the last MT-09 SP three years ago that was in Portugal and the uh, the weather was quite a bit nicer we're on our way to uh, a secret location they've not told us where we're going or what's going to be there but they've said there's uh, there's some private land that we can ride these bikes on you know um, I mean we can just open them up a little bit more I'm guessing it's going to be a runway or something like that I know Fagan was on the uh, Hayabusa launch a couple of weeks ago and that was that was at Cywell Aerodrome so if we're lucky they might have a nice long tarmac airstrip for us to uh, to do some skids and wheelies on I'm not entirely convinced I'm a fan of this the uh, the dash down there it kind of it's it just seems like it's too low down too far out the way so you can't you can't glance at it with your eyes you almost have to dip your head like that to see it um, perhaps perhaps for the shorter rider whose head's a bit lower it might be in a in a um, a more natural position but oh, I just I just don't know it's when you open this thing up from junctions like that that you can you can really uh, you really can tell it's just got a little bit more poke than the last one it's still you know it still feels the same it's still nice and smooth like the last one but that just those extra CC that extra bit of torque just means you can uh, you can really get the hammer down Oh, you bastard! I tell you what, I've got plenty of layers on, but I could maybe have just done with one more, one extra layer. I've got nipples like chapel hat pegs. Get your nipples out. Show us your nipples. Let's have a look at your nipples. Crack slain. Ha! <laughs> Show us your crack. Everything's just in a nice place on this bike. It's just, just a comfortable, nice lovely bike it's like it's been designed specifically around the ergonomics of my body do you know that lovely like clutch the brake levers just where i want it yeah yeah i could get used to this you, you really could do a lot of miles on one of these welcome to bentwater park so is this where we're uh, is this where we're headed is this a top secret location we're going to a government bunker in a top secret location now then this is what we like to see I'm all for this I've got a lot of time for this type of thing here we go oh baby I can smell shit there's a strong smell of animal shit oh my word where have they brought us you know them ideas you have that are just really terribly bad this is one of them if I've not spent enough time in A&E in my life Alright, I'll have another go. Already? <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> this is fucking mental. <laughs> 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 fun bike to ride oh yes I've turned the ABS off there's a, a little treat code a cheat code you can do on uh, a lot of Yamahas if you wheelie for long enough it disables the ABS so you can do big stoppies and skids and stuff the brakes are uh, really good Sometimes Yamahas have had brakes that just are a little bit below par. And, you know, maybe if you was on a circuit giving it Yaldi for lap after lap after lap, they might start coming back to the bar a bit. But for a bit of up and downy work like this, the bob on. Right, proper speed run this time. Hopefully, there ain't going to be any. Um, there isn't going to be any P 
pickups going across the the runway I'm gonna take as big a run up as I can because I want to see if we can get it properly flat out I know it's cheating a little bit but never mind right here we go One four two. Couldn't get any faster. How did Nevesy get on? What did you manage? One four two. Oh, one four three. Ah, oh, did you? I must be a bit fatter than you. <laughs> <laughs> So what's new about the MT-09 SP? Well, for a start off, you've got a new engine. It's still the CP3, that's cross-plane crank triple, but it's got bigger displacement. So you've got uh, 889cc now. They've done that by lengthening the stroke by three mil. You've got 6% more torque, so it now makes 93 newton meters. You've got 3% more peak power, so it now makes 117 brake horsepower. It's more efficient and it's got a new airbox and exhaust pipe, which I don't know how much that helps with the, with the actual power, but it definitely makes it sound like a much more uh, raspy bike. The chassis is 2.3 kilograms lighter. It's also 50% more rigid. The wheels are lighter. They've been spin forged, which is a, a special Yamaha technique, um, which makes lighter wheels. Nissin brakes, it comes with S22 tires from Bridgestone. It's got all new electronics, it's got a new dash, it's got a new quick shifter and a new slipper clutch. So what's the benefit of going for a MT-09 SP over the standard MT-09? Well, it's an extra 1,200 quid. The standard MT-09 is 9,000 pounds. This is 10,200 pounds. It's actually 10,202 pounds. So what do you get for your money? Well, you get Kayaba Fox, you get fully adjustable all-in shock, you get an icon blue colour scheme, um, kind of a bit R1M-esque. Uh, you get smoked reservoirs and um, uh, a nice seat. So really, you don't get tons of... Oh, cruise control as well. You get cruise control on this for your extra 1,200 quid. So it's not loads and loads of stuff, but in all fairness, for another 1,200 quid, you know, it's going to hold a bit more money and it is a lot more bling. So uh, interestingly, the MT-09 SP is actually one kilogram heavier than the MT-09 because they're telling us of the Olin shock. It's got a remote um, preload adjuster and that just adds a little bit more weight. Oh, bit of off-road in. There's an onion there, if anyone's interested. Such a lovely bike, such a difficult bike to um, bemoan in any way. There's, there really is nothing wrong with it. It's comfortable, it's fast, it's smooth, it's easy. And it's reasonably affordable, do you know? Com compare it to the other bikes in the same sector, it's, you know, it's very affordable. Would I have one of these over a Triumph Street Triple? <sighs> Both very, very good bikes. You need to be back to back in them to really, um, to really decide. The Street Triple is a bit more, a bit more refined than this. This still does have a bit more edge to it. It looks more edgy, it looks more aggressive, and feels it. The Street Triple's got a more, more advanced electronics than this. The electronics of this are, are, are absolutely fine. To be honest with you, I think this is all you need electronics-wise. You know, it's got a few modes, um, a few power modes, a few traction modes. You don't need to go nuts. What would I change on it? I don't know. Maybe I'd stick heated grips on it. But I'm only saying that because it's, you know, it's a cold day. If this, oh shit, we're going that way. If this launch had have been in Portugal, like the last MT-09 launch, I wouldn't even be thinking about heated grips. I don't know how you could make this bike better other than turning it into an MT-10 if you was desperate for a load more power, but you don't need a load more power. It's so light and agile and flickable and that suspension holds itself up, you know, holds the bike up so well. It's got such a punchy mid-range 
that all right it doesn't rev real high but you don't you don't feel like you need to and it's also a bike that you feel pretty comfortable riding in you know jeans and jeans and jacket a few of the lads are in full leathers and that would work you know you can you can go scratching on one of these you definitely get your knee down but um you know it's, it's not a bike that makes you feel like you need to be riding like that if there was anything about this bike that some might you know might dislike it would probably be the looks now i really like the look of it but it is a little bit edgy and a little bit different and a little bit out there so you know for some it might be too much but you know i like it but again that's subjective it you know it doesn't really i can't really comment on that it's up to you some people moan at manufacturers and say oh you know oh it's a dull color scheme it's just black and dark blue and this that and the other but them colors work and they look nice they also moan if they put bright i mean look at that look at that mt09 there that's a standard one and it's got bright orange wheels do you want do you want wheels like that because i bet as many people moan about them wheels as they, as they would moan about a dark colored wheels you know you can't please anyone everyone sorry you can please some people you can please me please me please me please me please me baby mm, till i lose control for some people maybe maybe it doesn't have quite quite enough character because it's so easy to ride but i think sometimes you know it's a bit of a trade-off isn't it between something that's lovely and smooth and almost docile um it, it maybe doesn't have that edginess that attitude but i thought i think this has got attitude it just maybe doesn't have as much as some might like i'd maybe put a screen on it but then where do you stop you know if you're going to do a load of miles on it and you want loads of wind protection then maybe you'd be better off on a, a tracer tracer 900 same engine but a bit more touring capability it's just so flickable you can just flop it from one side to the other and doesn't get out of shape clopton what an odd place name yeah it doesn't get out of shape and even the uh even the shifter's really smooth so you, you know you can be you can be having the thing right on its ear change gear doesn't matter up or down absolutely fine eat gear changes for breakfast really impressed with that shifter blipper Bum. sounds good doesn't it Red light didn't did it do spells danger did it did it do didn't do do did it did did do do did it didn't it do do pink house what the what's going on there's a one in every village in this part of the world I think it's very strange. So what do I make of the new 2021 Yamaha MT-09 SP? Well, honestly, it's bloody good. It's a bike that's really, really difficult to fault. It does exactly what it says on the tin, and it does it really, really well. It's got decent power, handles like a dream. You can tell it's a, a lot lighter than the last one. Um, it's comfortable it's got as much tech as you need it it really is hard to fault if you want something that's going to be 10 grand it's got everything that you need then this is uh this is a bob on bike would i have one of these on the road absolutely i would it's got it's got everything you need it's a saucy exciting looking bike and it can be ridden in a saucy exciting way as well you can show off as much as you need to Okay, you're not going to do 200 miles an hour and it's not got 200 brake horsepower, but like I say, if, if you need that, then yeah, go and, go and get it, but spend 20 grand, not 10 grand. So, is this, to me, it's, it's half the price of a super bike, but it's more than half the bike. So for that, gets, uh, gets my vote.